Here's the field for the Eclipse Stakes. Number one is Alto Road, owned by Champion Racing Stable, trained by Ronnie Cravens III. Harry Hernandez has the assignment today. Number two, Chasing Time, one of three entrants for trainer Steve Aspison, ridden by Keith Aspison, the large ownership group of My Racehorse, in for the ride with Chasing Time. Number three is Extreme Racing Stables, Sir Wellington, Mac Robertson trains, Gabriel Saez hops aboard. Number four, Kavad, owned by Michael Dupp, Annie Esquivel looking for his third win on the card. He teams up with trainer Mike Maker. Number five is Gun Pilot, owned by Three Chimneys Farm. The second Steve Aspicet entrant in the race, our leading rider Christian Torres is your jockey. Number six, Tapatio Leo, owned by Griffin Stables, Terry Lovinger, Amanda Navarro, John Ryan, and John Maroney. Peter Miller trains Ricardo Santana Jr. in the saddle. Number seven is Touch Revenge, the second Mike Maker entrant in the race, owned by Pont Flying P Stables, Ramon Vasquez. Number eight, Mr. Iceman and jockey Francisco Arietta. Peter Miller trains for owner Gary Barber. Number nine is Peggy Thompson's Edge to Edge, trained by Chris Hartman, Rafael Bejarado, the rider. And rounding out the field is number 10, Morello. The third, Steve Aspison entrant, owned by Blue Lion Thoroughbreds. Lapidus Racing and Diamond T Racing. Walter De La Cruz set to pilot. Six minutes to post for race eight. It's the $175,000 Eclipse Stakes. Ten runners to reach the starting gate in six minutes. And they're off in the Eclipse Stakes. Alto Road from the inside, sent along to get forward position. Isn't quick enough to get to the front, though. Tapatio Leo on top here early. Edge to edge takes second. Morello strides in third in the early stages. Gun pilot Kavad in chasing time. That trio's together, two off the lead. Another length and a half to touch revenge in Mr. Iceman. Sir Wellington is second to last. Alto Road dropping to the back of the pack. The big long shot dead last and need to turn it around as they hit the forward turn. Tapatio Leo on the lead, edge to edge, pressing from the outside. These two a half length apart as they round the turn. Morello shaken up from the third spot, chasing time down on the inside of Kavad still. Gun pilot is three wide. Touch revenge behind a wall of horses. Mr. Iceman takes the outside route, tries to circle the field, and then comes Sir Wellington as they swing off the turn. A bunched up field swings off the corner, edge to edge, and Rafael Bejarano have gone to the lead. Gun pilot on the outside takes the second position. She's charging hard. Edge to edge with a furlong to go as a three length lead. Gun pilot surging after him but edge to edge is full of run and edge to edge is going to win the Eclipse Stakes. Gun pilot second home. Tapatio Leo holds third. Chasing time was fourth. Now entering the winner's circle is number nine edge to edge. Edge to Edge is a six-year-old bay horse by Competitive Edge out of brief mark by Benchmark. Edge to Edge bred in Kentucky by Yearman's Racing Stable, now owned by Peggy Thompson and trained by Chris Hartman. Rafael Bejarado, your winning jackie. Ladies and gentlemen, in the winner's circle to present the trophy for the Eclipse Stakes with winning jockey Rafael Bejarano, winning trainer Chris Hartman, Peggy Thompson, and family and friends, David Jenkins and Lisa Spear presenting the winning trophy. In the winner's circle here with Rafael Bejarano, who's just won the inaugural Eclipse Stakes here at Oaklawn Park on Edge to Edge. Rafael, you had so much horse down the backside. Talk us through the trip. Well, you know, uh, Chris Hartman, he's been training this horse really amazing. He's been training really good so far, and uh, the horse, he was ready today. He wants to go to the lead, but uh, he told me, say, whatever you do, you know, just keep it holding. He likes to be in the beat, and he had a little short, short turn of foot. So, you know, uh, I knew uh, the, the six, it was the speed, and he, he went to the lead really comfortable. So I, I just tried to follow him, try to get him relaxed. My horse, he's getting in the beat, but... I didn't let him go into the come to the stretch, and, and that's why the, the horse turned for home. I waited a couple jumps more, and, and he he flew up.
fly in the end. You've had a tremendous weekend. Congratulations on your second stakes win. Celebrations tonight? Yes, yes, thank you. Uh, I'm going to my house. <laughs> Rafael Bejarado, thank you so much. Winner of the first running of the Eclipse Stakes here at Oakland Park.